Shalom. We want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers that are teaching the truth and society across the four corners of the earth. We are the, we are the GMS Atlanta Camp, coming at you live with another uh, edifying video prophesying about the downfall of America, aka Babylon the Great. Any brothers want to open up with a uh, scripture precept? Because, you know, we're in, we in the last days, man. Can our brother get uh, Jeremiah chapter 50? Because, you know, you see, you see like signs and uh, you see signs that America's going down. You know, the United States is, um, well, Donald Trump is uh, putting tariffs on nations that he's allies with. You know, that's, that's something unheard of going back. Well, it's not unheard of. Nothing new is under the sun. It goes back to uh, signs of the Great Depression back in the 1920s. So we're at that time where America is morally decayed and economically decayed, and then all leading up to it just being destroyed totally. Because you people out here don't know what's going on. It's another summer. It's another time for people to freak off. But these prophecies are, you know, coming to pass, you know. Start at the top. Yeah, the top. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 1. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. All right, now we know that Jeremiah, you know, he prophesied against the ancient Babylon, which is modern-day Iraq. But it's twofold. Sometimes the scriptures mention uh, have twofold scriptures. Babylon is known as uh, modern day is, is modern day America. It's not the Vatican City. You know, the Vatican City has about a thousand uh, citizens in it, so it cannot be the Vatican City. All right, all right. This is where all the merchants, like in Revelation 18, this is where all the merchants want to come and make money. All these other nations that want to come make money. This is this is Babylon. Yep. All right, you go back to Genesis chapter 11. Uh, Babal means confusion. There's a lot of confusion here, all right? You can go in any one of your neighborhoods. You can go to the grocery store. You can go to the dollar store, and you'll see a tranny working there. You'll see a homosexual working there, all right? These women, they they believe Esau's philosophies about you can make it in America and you can be independent, but it, it's catching up to them. They, hey, bro, they, it's like, what right. about that word great, though? Yeah. Great city. Vatican ain't no damn, damn great city, man. Yeah. And like the, you said, they don't have no uh, merchants in and out, passport, and uh, they, they're not going to war with every goddamn body in the yeah. world. And the Vatican City, they're not, they, I mean, in the Vatican City, you got a lot of sick, sick fucks there who, who are Roman Catholic priests. But they didn't come out and say that uh, homosexuality and, hom and, and gay marriage is legal in the Vatican City. That's America, man. Well, the, the Pope did come out and is pretty much in favor of homosexuality now, but I, I know the point you make you know on a, on a large scale as far as really pushing that energy throughout the four corners the back and not they're not the really ones the, the ones spearheading that it's really yeah more so the the, the american the americanized edomite that's right so babylon is twofold and it's talking about uh basically the destruction of babylon so we're just going to uh verse two uh, this is jeremiah 50 and 2 declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. And that's basically that's basically uh, what it's coming down to. America being taken. You know, through the spirit first, because everything here in Babylon is dead. The NBA is dead. All these sports is dead. The women are finished. Right. Um, you got more businesses closing. Uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, we about to pass by uh, building. Uh, business that was closed not too long ago, like two or three months ago, called Publix. It was booming like a mug. Then also, like you said, going back to the entertainment, particularly the NBA, they trying to perpetuate that that uh, uh, deceitfulness among the masses. Then you got Drake and Pusha T, all, all types of stuff that's uh, 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 that's enlarged as to this is this is what matters in society, not. Uh, what's going on? Not the prophecies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The prophecies internationally. That's that. That's that Publix right there. Right. Yeah, it's closed, man. Right. It was booming too, man. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of Jake stay right here, and a lot of Jake been going to that store. Yeah. So America is falling, man. But even if I can make a point too, 
even like the brother I now was going into uh, America, me and Babylon the Great, and of course Babylon, going back to the word for ball meaning confusion. See, you got all these like like even like the brother uh, the, the captain from Bosch brought out. You got all these things going on as as far as distractions, mm -hmm. but you got you got all these like like the brother is going into all these prophecies that are that are happening on on a worldwide word worldwide scale that because the people are so distracted they're not even realizing that all pretty much is being set up for all hell to break loose man. Mm -hmm. the people really is they're they're so confused and 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 esau is really giving people uh, a certain level of spiritual liberty they can pretty much do whatever they want to do mm -hmm. such as be homosexuals and you know so on and so forth the list goes on and on you know but at the end of the day people really aren't taking heed to the prophecies and people aren't un looking at and taking heed to prophecies and at the end of the day they, they're just setting themselves up for, for spiritual failure man come come hey, are you finishing that scripture all right Merodot is broken in pieces her idols are confounded her images are broken in pieces yeah so i mean these idols that you people are relying to these prognosticators that esau is using to uh, give them a, a, a foretelling of what's, what's to come, it's not working anymore, man. It says that in Isaiah chapter 47, you know, it's going to turn around and be to the uh, destruction, you know, sooner or later. But all these idols like uh, Guadalupe, you got a you got a temple right over here. Right. You got this uh, Indian temple, all right, right over here. Yeah. All these images and idols that you people worship here in America. Yeah, the celebrities and all that stuff. Yeah, so-called so black leaders. Oh yeah. Take it to you, Jake. That depends on that. Yeah, all you, you leaders, all you leaders are finished, man. You know. Yeah, yeah go ahead. It's Jeremiah chapter forty-nine, verse seventeen. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it should be astonished, and shall hiss at all the players thereof, because the players are coming on these Edomites, man. You see mm -hmm. Edomites in a unemployment loan. Mm -hmm. um, opioid which, addiction. Yeah, opioid addiction. They are going against their own government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mentioned that in class yesterday. There's going to be, uh, what's that scripture in Matthew where it says Satan versus Satan? You know, uh, I think it was Matthew. I think it's Matthew chapter 12. But basically, you know, this nation is going to be divided. You're going to have these so-called white people from the north against so-called white people from the south. These, uh, you're going to have these uh, people who believe in their uh, right to bear arms. And then you're going to have these uh, peace-loving uh, devils who just want peace. And then it's going to uh, come into, uh, you know, Lord willing, it's going to start these states, start succeeding from the union, like California, you know, Texas. So we see that on, on, a, on a small scale, like uh, the Calexit, uh, things bro, like that. Not, not to cut you off, bro, that's so far over people's head right now, man. That statement alone, the states succeeding and, and actually breaking up America. Because people don't even understand, people are, it's, people are completely confused. Yeah. They don't even understand. People don't understand basic economics, man. That's yeah. that's one that's one way that the uh, so-called white man has, has gotten the people in deep deep slavery is through uh, debt, mm. and and they can't see how that's destroying their own individual lives. So they can't see how it's going to destroy America. But a big part of why states are going to end up uh, wanting to succeed from from uh, America is because of the municipal debt, state debt. Mm. If if California is running a, a I'm just throwing out a number, a, a $500 billion deficit every year, and Texas is, is, is has a $200 million surplus, Texas ain't going to want to continue to uh, put their tax dollars towards California. Mm -hmm. And California, gonna, they're going to want to run it up to $600, $700 million a year. Yeah. But that, but just that in itself, I, I, you're, you're absolutely right in that point. But it's like, these people are so fucking dumb, they're not, they're, they, they, they can't even understand that, man. Yeah, yeah. They can't even understand the fact that you got thousands of nuclear nuclear weapons already created on this earth. They're gonna be used, and here it is. That's actually something that you can actually see. That's, that's you know, it's evidence of. You know what I mean? Like these people are finished out here. Well, matter of fact, can I call for a scripture? Uh, Isaiah six and nine, because what the brother is saying, it goes. It's, that's what the scriptures are talking about. You know, like these distractions and bread and circuses. You know, first of, I mean, that's that's from modern day. I mean, from ancient Rome, but also. That goes into the pulse of the people. These people are dumb as hell, man. They don't know what the hell is going on. They're just looking for it, like with this Pusha T and Drake thing. Like that's that's the most that's the most biggest news for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans.
goes to show you, you're just done for, man. You know. I mean, at least you repent, man. You know, yeah, at least you, you repent. Kind of, you know, off, you know, you know, off that side of it as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gotta be a dumbass nigga your whole life, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, you that that's that's why that's why the, our Lord and Savior you have a shot with the world they call Jesus Christ. That's why he came and gave himself to be a sacrifice. So you actually stop being so damn simple all the fucking time and actually try your best to, to understand what's getting ready to befall you and your and your nation and your people and everybody on this earth and try to get it right with the Heavenly Father, man. Um, I got a precept too. Uh, because the brother was saying, um, you know, that those missiles are there and man, they locked and loaded. And these these people, you know, are, are totally in the in the dark, you know, about what's going on. All right. Um, because it's prophecy, man, that those those arrows are going to be shot. Okay, this is Jeremiah 51 and 11. It says, "Make bright the arrows," and the arrow is talking about those thermonuclear missiles. Okay, it says, "Gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirits of the king of the Medes, which are the modern day um, where the Medes are the or Russians are the modern day Medes." Okay, mm -hmm. and Vladimir Putin. You said Russian. Okay. Russian. No, no, no. Uh, Medes. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, Iran, Iran, Persian, Mies. Oh, now the Mies are the modern day Russians. Come. Uh, it says, uh, the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon to destroy it. Okay. And, and you know, you, you see uh, war talk in the news, you know, every day. And uh, Vladimir Putin is not playing, man. You know, these, these other nations are not scared of America anymore. All right. America does not run shit. They, they do not carry the big stick anymore, all right? It says to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. That was it, right there. Yeah. That's that, like, like the brothers going into, man. They go into the destruction, man. At the end of the day, ultimately, this place is going to be set on fire, man. And really, if you if you are if you are Israelite, if you are so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, of confusion of faith, who believes in the, the truth of the scripture through, through the Spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you should want this land to be destroyed, man. Right. Here you got two simple ass Edomites sitting on a fucking debt on a fucking porch, rocking and shit, <laughs> and they they haven't done anything productive their whole fucking life except sit there and eat a, eat a bunch of pork, drink beer, and uh, to watch NASCAR, and, and have a, a lot of thoughts to kill niggas. That's that's the only productivity that Edomite has on this on this side, man. And a, and a part of America being destroyed, you have, you have to understand the whole the whole portion of that covenant, man. A part of a part of America being destroyed is all is also our us and our people being being delivered, saved, and inherited in the kingdom of heaven, man. So we can actually be rules on this on this earth, you know, the way that we were designed to be. Uh, yeah, calm. You call for that Isaiah six and nine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Isaiah six and nine. This is Isaiah chapter 6 verse 9 And he said go and tell his people Hear ye, hear ye indeed But understand not And, ye sh and see ye indeed But perceive not mm -hmm. That's like That's like you go on a camp And you're trying to tell somebody That they're Israelite Salvation is for you And there's all the other nations that oppressed you Are going to slavery And it sounds good But they don't, they don't understand it They're going about their normal day to day and you know it's just something nice to hear and they pump their fists and say y'all brothers keep doing what y'all doing that's basically uh the lord putting a spirit on angels to basically block people from not understanding verse 10 it says make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed yeah so the lord doesn't want two-thirds to be to be healed that's why he's giving them over to distractions like the whole rap beef uh reality shows uh the entertainment the bread and circus is basically the same thing that was going on in rome meanwhile um you know rome, just like in ancient rome just like here in modern day rome america the money is uh the money is devalued all right they don't have any money to uh fix these bridges these roads all right, they're going to war with different countries. They're taxing the people, and that all led to the fall of Rome. So that's basically, you know, modern day America, you know. But our people don't see that. They're looking forward to the next holiday. Uh, I think the next holiday is July 4th, 
And it, it's another holiday that celebrates them being in slavery. So, like the brother was saying, this is a message of repentance, but we understand that a certain amount of people are going to get it, and a, a large majority of them are not going to get it. So that's why we, uh, you know, we go out to the highways and hedges to, to compel people to come back to uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because there's nothing going on with you people out here, man. Y'all just lost in the sauce. There's, there's nothing going on out here. You know, uh, our people are uh, shooting each other up. There's going to be all types of adultery going on this weekend, drug use, false worship, so on and so forth. So it's important, like we always reiterate, to uh, listen to the prophets because they, 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 they know the scope of what's going on, you know, here in America. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge Because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee And that you know like the brother's going into that That's that's the, the, the state And status of our people You know they're, they're being rejected Because they rejected what the knowledge and understanding Of the scriptures man And and, and actually Making their body a living sacrifice To make, make their bodies Acceptable to receive the Holy Spirit man because the Holy Spirit is doing the um, John 6, 63. The Holy Spirit is gonna is gonna be what quickens you in these in these final days, man. You know, like like um, like brothers going into, you know, through tears, you know, we more or less compel men to repentance. But what's the what's the goal of us telling telling people how terrible it's gonna get, even though we can't fully understand how terrible it's gonna get? It's gonna be worse than we can even imagine, man. Right. This is gonna be the, the the final judgment, you know, from from the heavenly Father, man. How about you? How shot? We can't even we can't even vocalize how bad it's gonna get out here, you know. Mm -hmm. from, like like the brothers going into at the end of the day, we know, trust, and believe that there's a certain elect that will be saved, and the rest of y'all, man, we'll see you on the other side, man. That's I right. Know. I also re will reject thee that thou hast. That thou shalt be no priest to me, saying that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And that's that's a part of it too. A lot of, a lot of these niggas out here, man, they really the seeds of evil people too. You know, they might not have been the ones to who uh individually rejected the Lord, you know, or who spoke against the prophets. They might be their children, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what so you we we in, in the reincarnation, we don't know who in the world we are. But at the end of the day, we know that the Most High opened up a door for us to attain salvation. So we must, we must do everything we possibly can to, to you know, uh, make our car on the lecture short, man. God. I ain't about to any precepts. Nah, I ain't got nothing else. All right, so we're just going to close out on that. You know, another uh, week of prophesying the downfall of America. You know, the, the word is still out here. You know, the Internet is not... Uh, there's no family in the work going on yet. You know, you still got that time. You still got that clearance period before the Most High uh, hits that green light. And, uh, you know, all hell starts to break loose. You know, it's, imp it's imperative, once again, to hearken on to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, hearken on to the words of the prophets. But uh, there's only going to be a few that's going to be safe in this coming destruction. And Lord willing, we be those men to um, <clears throat> get beamed up what you call UFOs, which are, uh, modern day, uh, which, which are chariots. So, um, you know, anybody's got any closing statements? No. All right, so with that, we want to give, give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rekhar Kadash. All right, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, salutations to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.